Got a sec? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Smells like grease and unwashed bodies. That's not the point. Hey, no offense, but I don't think this walking salt tuna can's gonna appreciate you interrupting. Keep talking, Millstone. See what happens. Now's not a good time. I'm dealing with a problem here. So, go space yourself. Problem solved. You must really want to trunch it through your teeth. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me, always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. Exactly. I was only doing what any self-respecting Rangers fan would have done. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Enjoy my freedom. Scrounged together enough bits for a zero G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? So your ship's got a dark and violent history? This is just too perfect. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, boss. Customs and inspection, right this way. Identification, please. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Well, isn't this wonderful? The captain's done something to get on the board's bad side. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. You take the starch out of them, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? 
Wanda Dorset over in sick bay? Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Ah, a handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. You noticed, huh? What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit, especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? The board is necessary to provide order to the colony. They believe it's their prerogative to overrun you. But whether you allow that is up to you. It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right. So far, anyway. Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Sure thing. Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Are you pulling my leg? Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Sitting around, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Glad to help. All right. Be seeing you. wants to play an impromptu tossball match. This is it. Security. I can check the department. Archer's registry to find out which crew chick, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. Nope. One lives on the monarch. It's a wasteland. You were hearing things. No, Hold seriously. It right there. there was a lot of. Thank you. 
I wish I could do that. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. You're an artist, Captain. What do you think you're doing? I don't want any trouble out of you. Slow day, huh? This might be tough. That's impressive. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things.
Try not to be distracted by the glare of the adverts. Lots of unsavory types about it. Rizzo's Mock Apple Cider. A hard cider for a hard life. Mechanicals all over, but they still got us wet in little boxes. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lei gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Stellar Bay proper? Mm, tough to say. It's overrun with beasts, I heard. Big ones. Kind of chew your face off for fun. If you're aiming to get to Stellar Bay, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. The board don't like them that truck with Monarch. But I ain't the one you ought to be asking. Try Gladys on the promenade. She'll fix you up. The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets, wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Couldn't say, and I wouldn't be pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is, we're cooking in our own juices here, and it... Engineering. Chief Junlei Tennyson, to be precise. She runs this heap, best she can, anyway. Don't know what's got her dragging her heels, but I wish she'd hurry it up. That's not for me to say. There's nobody who knows more about the station's guts. She doesn't come around here often, though. I had a question about your plan, Mr. Vicar. Of course. The cosmos is generated and directed by the Universal Equation, also known as the Grand Plan. By contemplating the teleological order of things, one can achieve verity. Oh, um, right. You had a question? Never mind. That about answers it. Are you listening to me? You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Umfuru? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jessie and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. You say that like it's weird. Like I said, Jessie did me a favor, and now I owe her one. I just don't like to leave a debt unpaid, that's all. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. Something I can help you with? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Take care. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait.
He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Surgery, mostly. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. This is perfectly safe. I'd rather not die early of an infectious disease myself. I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Udom Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh?
seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need nice... your advice nor your pity young lady bless my heart a stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door you here for a particular reason or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws, maybe I should charge you double. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Do you know Edna, over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Anytime, sweetheart. I'm... What was I doing again?
Any word on Jesse? Good luck. The... Looking sharp. CNP Boriston Baked Bean. When you need to eat and run... Still betting on the toss ball series? I know you were trying to stop. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. Uh, they're terror fried. Fresh from the grinder, any... Thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sublevel. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty worn, though. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a mode of authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. 
Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forget not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. This whole deck smells like ass. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Right! In person. Sh sure thing, Captain. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said... Sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. You're right, I don't. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. This is Halcyon Doom. We BNP, I can't believe it. It's almost... 
what are you... Groundbreakers radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. What was that? What? What do you think you're doing? Go on, before I change my mind. Gosh, that's what was clever. that? What do you think you're? You're free to go. Go back to Byzantium, you go through the Ah, the board. 